Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kyle and Blake from Growing Up Garden. Today, I'm going to do my final video on my potato towers. I'm going to be weighing each tower and finding out if we really got 100 pounds of potatoes in my four square foot boxes. So let's go check them out. All right, so before I harvest potatoes, I want to let you guys know that two weeks ago, I turned off the irrigation system uh, for my potato towers. And the reason I did that is because I want the potatoes to dry out in the ground. And what, what that'll do is that'll create a nice uh, tough skin around the potatoes. So that way they won't get damaged uh, while I harvest them. Now, if you try to harvest your potatoes when the ground's wet, uh, the skin won't be tough enough and it'll actually peel off uh, and you can actually damage your potatoes that way. So always let your potatoes dry out a few weeks in advance in the ground uh, before harvesting. Now when I harvest my potato towers here, I'm going to pull the whole tower off of the stack of straw and soil. And I'm actually going to peel away each and every layer of straw and soil so we can see if we have potatoes growing up the, the potato vine. Because in the article, the original article I posted, it shows potatoes growing um, up the tower uh, th in each layer. So let's head out to the towers and start taking them apart. So I'm going to start off with the rose fin apple tower first. I'm going to dismantle this and find out what we have in there. And then I'm going to move to the banana fingerling. And then I'll take apart the Kennebec tower and then the all blue potato tower. Where am I going to get mice? What? What, Dad? What, Daddy? What? Oh, God, that thing is big. Ugh. It's heavy. Are those heavy? Pretty heavy. Okay. We're going to start taking it apart. See what we got. We might get a mouse in here. I don't know. So we need to, um, we need to put this somewhere. I'm going to get my kid trouble through no. the mouth. Here, we'll just put it right here. Let's just throw it. Uh, actually, you know. All right, so I've taken apart this whole rose fin apple tower all the way to the soil. And. You can see there's potatoes down here. They're very tiny. There's one, a little fingerling. So hopefully the potatoes are in the soil. That one's getting eaten. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start digging in the soil to uh, uncover potatoes. We need to get a box, Blake. Get that little box, dude. One. That little, that little go. That uh, little the pouch box. Pouch box, yeah. Hey, look at that. Well, we got something. So this this one I just pulled out and it looks like the potatoes were at the bottom of the tower. Nothing growing up the stock.
All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna weigh all of the potatoes from each one of the towers uh, just to see what we got. And I don't know if you guys noticed in the video, there wasn't that many potatoes that I harvested. I was, I'm actually pretty disappointed on uh, the results from my tower experiment. And I actually do have a theory on what I think went wrong uh, with the potato towers. So I'll explain that at the end of the video. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and weigh the towers and I'll let you guys know the final results. All right, guys, so this is the rose fin apple harvest. As you can see uh, how pathetic this is, I got 4.4 ounces of uh, potatoes. It's definitely not 100 pounds of potatoes. So the rose fin apple was a uh, complete failure. Uh, so I'm gonna move on to the next. I mean, some of these potatoes like don't even look that good. Some were kind of rotten and don't look too appetizing. Probably not gonna eat any of these. Uh. All right, so the next variety of potatoes that I'm weighing are the banana fingerling potatoes. And check it out. I only got 15.8 ounces of potatoes. Uh, we're, we're definitely way off from 100 pounds. Um, I thought I'd at least get a couple pounds out of the tower, uh, but I didn't even get a pound. <laughs> and the potatoes, they don't even look that appetizing to eat. Uh, some even have some bug damage uh, in them. So those are the banana fingerlings. Mm -mm. I'll give it a thumbs down <laughs> for my experiment. Blake's, Blake's helping me weigh the potatoes. So the next variety of potatoes are the Kennebec potatoes, and these <laughs> are absolutely disgusting. And they're gonna get thrown away, but I thought I'd weigh them anyways. Uh, half of these, half of the potatoes, are probably most of them actually rotted in the ground. Even, even though I turned the irrigation system off weeks uh, before harvesting, uh, the soil was still damp, and most of them actually rotted out. So I've got one, one pound. 1.6 ounces uh, of potatoes from the Kennebec Tower. And all the potatoes uh, so far in all the towers were actually in the soil. None of them actually grew in the straw layer. So, uh, complete disappointment on the Kennebec. I did have some issues with, I think, mice getting in the straw and chewing on the plants. So I think what happened too is a lot of the potato plants died uh, too soon and then the potatoes might have rotted because of the mice who were chewing all the stalks uh, in the straw layer so i don't know it's not looking too good for growing your potatoes in towers tell me all right so this is the final potato tower this is the all blue potato and i'll zoom in here and show you guys the final results it produced a whopping <laughs> five pounds 2.6 ounces of potatoes so this uh, variety did the best out of all my towers um, I'm still a little disappointed I thought I would maybe at least get 10 pounds of potatoes out of it um, so that's the uh, that's the result here I'm gonna actually weigh all the potatoes together and uh, see what I got uh, with all of them combined all right so I'm done weighing it, weighing in the potatoes now, what I did this year as a comparison, I actually planted all of these potato varieties in the ground and I, I grew them the traditional way to where you put them in a row and then you mound them, um, you know, a few times as they grow up, but you don't keep mounding them. You just make a potato hill, basically, and I let them grow through the season and they're actually ready to harvest. I've actually harvested a few to check them out and, you know, the results are quite amazing. The, the differences are quite amazing. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to show you guys the difference between the potatoes in the ground and the potatoes in the tower so we can compare and I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on my how to grow 100 pounds of potatoes in four square feet uh, experiment this year.
So you can already tell the difference between the potatoes that were planted in the ground and the ones that I planted in the towers. These are the Kennebecs here. And they look really nice and uh, healthy with all blues. The fingerlings, rose fin apple, and the bananas are all kind of mixed together. Uh, I planted a similar amount uh, in this little area right here. And it definitely produced more potatoes than the towers. <clears throat> all right, so you guys can already tell the difference between the potatoes that I grew in the ground and the ones that I grew in the towers. So we'll take a look at these potatoes that I grew in the ground. I grew, I actually planted these right around the same time I planted the towers. Um, I actually put fewer pieces in for each variety. I think I only put two to three as in the, and the towers, I put four pieces in each tower. So I put less, uh, st you know, pieces in uh, and I got more potatoes. So I actually got uh, 15 pounds, 11.4 ounces out of the potatoes in the ground and the tower potatoes, you know, it was only seven and a half pounds. And the quality on the ones in the towers um, is not very good. You probably, you, I don't know, I'm not going to eat any of these because they, do, they don't look very appetizing. I could show you guys the difference. So, so here are some of the Kennebecs that were in the ground. Actually, quite a few. Nice looking potatoes there. Pretty good size. And then these are the Kennebecs that were in my tower. And I'd, you know, most of these things rotted out. Um, I actually weighed some of the rotten ones just to, just to help the uh, <laughs> yield for my test. But you can definitely see the difference. Put those back. The fingerlings, they did pretty good too compared to the fingerlings um, in the towers. I got them all kind of mixed up in here. You can see the small fingerlings right there, here. Kind of funky looking compared to the ones in the ground. And then the all blue potato did kind of uh, it did the best in the towers like size wise but look at the difference in the skins got a bigger potato but the skin is kind of funky on all the ones in the towers and some of them were actually rotten so I don't know what was going on there so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on this potato tower experiment. All right, so here's my theory on why I think the potato towers did so poorly. So you've got your potato, you plant it in the ground. Now the plant starts growing out of the ground. It gets to be about, you know, eight to 10 inches tall. And then you start uh, burying it with either uh, soil or straw. And then, so you bury it, then the plant grows up again, and then you bury it, and then the plant grows up again, and you bury it, and so on, until you get to the top of your tower. Now, what you're doing is you're forcing that potato plant to put all of its energy into growing the, the vines and the leaves, and you're not putting a lot of the energy into the potatoes that are growing in the ground. Now, I also think that when you mound the potatoes like that in the towers, you're stressing that plant out because the plant's like constantly, you know, it's constantly trying to get to the sun. And uh, you know, my potatoes from the towers, they look, they look kind of sickly. They don't look, they don't look appetizing at all. Um, those potatoes, I'm actually not going to eat. They're going to get tossed in the compost heap. Um, so that's my theory on why I think uh, the potatoes don't grow that well in the towers. All right, so I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on if I think you should actually try this uh, potato tower yourself at home. And as of right now, I would not grow potatoes in towers. I think it's a waste of your garden space, and I think it's a waste of time uh, to, you know, to dedicate an area to, 
to grow potatoes in. I mean, I get the whole point of growing potatoes in a tower, and it would be great if we, you could actually get 100 pounds in one of those towers. That would be awesome. But you're not going to get 100 pounds. Uh, if you're lucky and you have the right soil mix and, you know, the right amount of nutrients and the right amount of water, maybe you would get, maybe you'd get 10 pounds. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less uh, in a perfect world. Uh, and, you know, at 10 pounds of potatoes, 10, 50 pounds, that's like, you know, one or two meals at your house. And it's it's not worth, you know, your time or your money. You know, you're going to spend a lot of time uh, and money getting the material to make the towers. You got to cut up all the wood. You got to build the boxes. You got to come out every week and check on the potatoes. You got to fill in, you know, level by level. And it's a lot of work. I did four towers this year and I'm and I filmed it, <laughs> so I'm spent. <laughs> no more potato towers for me. Now, if you have a lot of space in your yard, definitely grow potatoes in the actual ground. They will do much better than the towers, as you guys can see here from my little experiment. I mean, you'll get some nice looking uh, potatoes if you grow them in the ground. Just grow them the traditional way, grow them in a row, and then you know, as they get to be about eight to 10 inches tall, mound them. Um, you know, throughout the summer, just keep an eye on them. You always you want you always want to make sure these potatoes are covered because if they get exposed to the sun, they'll turn green on you, and that they're producing a toxin, and you definitely don't want to eat them. So those are my thoughts on uh, growing your potatoes in towers. Don't do it <laughs> unless you want to uh, do an experiment uh, for fun. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed my potato tower series. I want to thank all of you that followed uh, each and every one of my videos. I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you can be notified on when I post my latest uh, gardening videos or gardening uh, experiments. And don't forget to share these videos with your family and friends. And again, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Because you are. I'm trying to make a video, dude. Just a kid. You're just a kid? I'm trying to film a video and Blake's over here playing with cars, huh? Well, I guess that's what four year olds do. Oh, you're almost four, right? Not quite yet. He's still three. We're getting close to being big four. Big, big, dude. Big, big, dude. Oh no, the car's gonna hit the camera.